Hello everyone and welcome to RuneScape Chronicles. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to play, what the game is, how to play it, uh, through teaching you this uh, very basic deck I call Earth Blast Winds. Now don't be alarmed uh, if this is your first time watching this game, just sit back and try to get the general idea. If you want more specifics and to follow each and everything after you've learned what the game is, then you can come back and rewatch the video and then you'll get a better understanding. So. Uh, I'll walk you through things as they come across. Uh, so this is a ranked online mode. This is a card game. Uh, and if you've played Hearthstone, you might think that you're prepared for this, but this is actually a very, very different uh, interaction. So in this game, you have access to your side of the board and the board has five rounds and four spots each round. Each spot, you can put a card and you can place up to four cards per round. You draw three every turn um and you run into your cards you have a little token you move that token through your cards now i'm just going to get a bit more early game uh, actually this set is almost perfect uh, i have enough gold um let's keep you all right so as i said you run into your cards basically and you have stats that you can buff and change and a bunch of stuff like that. The goal of the game is to get your opponent down to zero life. Uh, this usually happens by getting all the way to the end of the fifth chapter where you fight each other. So I'm going to play some small minions that I can defeat in one hit with my two attack. And then I'll, you know, my time you'll see, oh, uh, I'm, away. yep, yes. Uh, let's see, let's throw in you. All right. So the goal of Earth Blast Winds is to draw cards and get a lot of gold and use Earth Blast, which is a eight gold spell. And when you use it, you do a lot of damage to your opponent. This is the mage class I'm playing, and the opponent is playing Lydia, or Linnea. I forget her name, uh, which is a blacksmith class, which makes a very, 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 very big weapon and either throws it at you or uses it to get huge buffs from defeating large enemies. Now I'm prepared to fight a Lydia because I have a, a um, ooh, that's going to be really difficult to deal with. So uh, I have a creature that has an effect to weaken her weapon, but I don't think it will stop her. So we have Earth Blast now, which means we can uh, prepare to launch an early Earth Blast, uh, but it is best to try to get an Earth Blast off when you have 10 cards in your hand, which is the maximum. So Earth Blast is an 8 gold spell that deals damage to your rival equal to your hand size times 2. So if we have 10 cards in hand, after, when we run into this card, we will deal 20 damage to them, which will deal a lot of damage. This deck has a lot of uh, indirect burn through removing health, uh, and that is typically how we want to take down our opponents. So I'm going to try to put a wedge into her plan by weakening her weapon by taking three uh, weapon durability off from it. You lose a weapon durability every time you hit with that weapon. Um, right, I'm. Ah, this is really difficult ready. where I am right now. Um, I could just go for a earth an earth blast. Yeah, I think I'm going to just go for an earth blast. So. The dynamics of going first... Oh, excellent. Uh, some armor to, to get rid of. Um, and... Oh, this is fantastic. So, Lydia destroys a lot of enemies that buff her weapon. If you remove all but one durability from the weapon, it is very hard for them to deal with that. This game runs off of you interacting with your opponent in ways that they can't predict for. Uh, or it'll be very difficult for them to predict. It's very mind heavy what the oh right they fought a giant enemy and that lowered their health enough people loot some people get really risky and will lower their health really a lot and then you pop out a 18 damage spell out of nowhere and well earth blast wins so this as you see is a very powerful but very simple deck um you may have seen a lot of flashy things going on but the goal of the deck is simple. Gain gold, maintain a high hand size, and bring your opponent's health to zero using Earth Blast and other effects. 
So right now, after that demonstration, I will go into my uh, collection and show you what that deck looks like and how to build a deck. Uh, this is supposed to be a very short video to introduce you to this because I'm going to be playing a lot of this and I think that everyone should play this game because it's a very, very fun game. <laughs> so you have your class cards here. Um, and for example, here are all the spells I have for Arian. I have this stuff and Earth Blast is what I use in this deck. I have one copy of Shield Dome um, to gain a little bit of life back through armor um, just to you know benefit off of the giant hand size. And Wind Strike often catches people off guard. Enfeeble allows me to take down huge, mini huge creatures uh, and Mind Bomb keeps me at a high hand size. The theme for this deck is to sacrifice my life to bring down theirs by taking a ton of damage and dealing out a ton of damage. This deck does pretty well against everyone except for healing decks. It does great against armor decks, but not healing decks. Um, and also other mages who are also very fast burn decks. So if we go to her creatures, each class has stuff that they are special in. And so they have access to a lot of cards excuse me, um, that are would be unfair to other classes, but you know everyone has their kind of thing. So for example, this creature would be ridiculous in many other classes, but you know it gets balanced out by the fact that every class, hmm? yes, I'm not changing my class. Um, I'm just going to show you the Raptor and how he has some crazy spells that you would otherwise think are ridiculous, but it's just what that class does. So, um, uh, do I have that spell? Okay, I don't actually have the spell. Uh, the raptor has a, I think, zero-cost spell that says spend four armor and just, just kill your next creature. Just like that. They can just kill a creature for four armor. It's called destroy. It seems ridiculously broken, but that's what the class does. Ozan steals a ridiculous amount of gold from your rival. Linza creates ridiculously huge weapons and can throw them at your opponent with pulverize or hurl weapon. Um, Vanescula is a vampire who lowers her health, then reaps benefits from having low health through an ability called Mortal, um, which if your legend has 15 or less health, you have something excellent happen. And then they bounce back in the mid to late game with ridiculous power and strength through doing things like gaining three temporary attack by losing 10 health. It's ridiculous stuff. Um, and yeah, Ariane, we've looked at hers. So we'll just go through my deck real quick to show you kind of the curve that's going on. So except for spells, nothing has any direct cost. This isn't a uh, Hearthstone where an eight mana creature cost eight mana. And you can't use it unless you have eight mana. You can cast any of the, you can play any of these creatures at any time it's just that sometimes they will kill you because it's a 613 and you are a essentially 230. Um, and you just move through and you try to interact with your opponent to undercut them from what they're trying to do. Uh, otherwise, you can ignore your opponent, but what often happens is if you are trying to get enough gold for Earth Blast and you finally have it and then they steal one gold from you, you can't buy Earth Blast and you walk right past it and then you're screwed. Another example of this is, let's say that we are a warrior, uh, 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 the raptor, the tank, and we just got seven gold and we're gonna buy a huge weapon. Well, if they steal some gold from us and we can't buy that weapon, then that giant creature that we played that we were gonna kill with our giant weapon, we don't have a giant weapon, so we are going to helplessly walk into that giant creature and get utterly destroyed. That's the fun of the game. You may feel like you're not playing any cards and your opponent is playing a million cards, and you may feel like they're doing way more than you have much a better deck, but when it comes to the end of the battle, you might win with only one health left when you get to the end of the battle. Um, in the next video, I'll show you actually getting to the end of the game after five rounds and have some clutch fights. I'll be using the Raptor for that battle. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope, the, I hope that you download this free game and enjoy it uh right before we go i just want to show you um uh i just want to show you what you know how the game works 
um, in terms of increasing your collection. Right now, they only have classic packs. It's a very new game. It literally just released, I think, last week or the week before. It was in beta before that. And you can buy a booster pack and open it. Uh, but really, what you want to do is you want to complete daily quests, which are very, very easy and give you a ridiculous amount of gold or copper to buy new packs. But what you really want to do is go into the dungeon. And that'll cover in another video. So stay tuned for a uh, battle video using the Raptor and an arena dungeoneering run using the dungeon. Thank you all for watching and goodbye. Please subscribe uh, if you want to catch up on more of this stuff. I have two channels, this channel and the Full Restore channel. Um, that is a Pokemon podcast channel. So I really hope that if you enjoy Pokemon, you can come over to that channel and hang out with us. Uh, thank you all for watching and goodbye.